Hi, much greeting this morning in Jesus' name. We want to thank God for giving us another beautiful day that we can be able to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share with you the word of God because God has given us opportunity to share his word. And so let us read from Philippians 3 and verse number 10. The Bible says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. I want to share with you a topic called knowing the Lord and his power. Knowing the Lord and his power in this time of coronavirus. It's very important for us to know that we are undergoing a very hard time. This time of coronavirus is a very hard time. And because it's a very hard time, we also need to know the Lord more. We need to know more of his power more. That was cry. That was the desire of our brother Paul. Because Paul is saying that I want to know him and his power of his resurrection. Friends, this is the time that we need to know the Lord more. This is the time that we need to know more of his power, of his, of his resurrection. Because the more you know the Lord, the more that we know his power, the more we are encouraged, the more we move forward by faith, the more we enjoy his blessing, and the more we receive his revelation, because we are knowing more of him, and we are knowing more of his power. And for us to have that power, for us to continue to have that desire, and uh, that deeper of knowing God. There are things that we need to know. And one of them that Paul desired, and I feel in my heart that we need to desire more. Point number one, which was in the heart of Paul, when he was crying for more of the Lord, when he was crying for more of his power. Number one, is finding out God's standard. Finding out God's standard. That was the desire of Paul. He desired more of God. He desired more of God's standard. And the more we desire of God's standard, the more we are going to enjoy of his power the more we are going to grow more deeper, the more we are going to move more deeper in Him. So point number one is knowing, or rather finding God's standard. When you find God's standard, we are going to enjoy to know the Lord and know of His power, of His resurrection. And number two, the desire of Paul, according to Philippians 3 and verse number 10, is making God's standard our standard. Making God's standard our standard. You know, when you know God's standard, then we are going to make God's standard our standard. So, and when we do that, we are going to enjoy more of God's power, more of his suffering. Because we also need to be a partaker of his suffering. As you know of him, as you know more of his power, 
and more of his summary. And so that we only come by making God's standards to be our standard. May the Lord help you and help me to know God's standard and make God's standard our standard. And that one you help us to know more of the Lord and more of his power and being a partaker of his suffering in this time of coronavirus. Friends, I want to thank God that God has given us this opportunity that I, we can be able to share the word of God that will help us to know more of God. And the more we know of God, the more, the more we know of his standard, the, the more we are going to grow and enjoy his blessing that he has for us even in this time of coronavirus. And number three, is to determine to live by those standards. You know, when you know God's standard, when you make God's standard your standard, then determine to live by those standards. Determine to live by those standards. You know, when we do that, we are going to know the Lord. We are going to know more of His power. We are going also to be a partaker of His suffering. And we are going to enjoy the goodness of God. I want to thank God for the desire of our brother St. Paul. Because he said, that I may know you. He was already saved. He was an apostle. But he had that cry that he wanted to know the Lord more. And I feel in my heart that brethren, that even this particular time, even if we are saved and we are preaching, we also need to know our Lord more. We need to know of Him the more and more. We need to know more of His power. We need to know more of His love. We need to know more of His blessing. There's more we can be able to know from the Lord. There's more we can learn from the Lord. There's more we need from the Lord. That's why Paul had that desire that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That was point number three. And point number four, my dear friend, is, is being willing, being willing to accept the consequence of living by those standards. There is also a consequence of living those standards. There is a consequence of living those standards. After knowing them, living them, and having determination to having determination to live by those standards, then there is that consequence by living by those standards. Friends, we must be ready for consequence of knowing the Lord. Because there is a sacrifice. There is a more of sacrifice. Because Paul is saying that I may also know him even of his suffering. So my dear friends, we must be ready for even these consequences of living the standard of the Lord. There's a lot of suffering, there's a lot of this paying the price, and we must be ready to pay the price, even in this time of Corona virus in Jesus' name. I don't know where you are from, my friend. I don't know the desire you have. Maybe you have a desire of money, it's very good. You have a desire of success, it's very good. Desire of going to the next step, is very good. But with all those, we can also desire to know the Lord the more and know more of His power, know more of His love, knowing more of His fellowship. This is a high time for us to desire more of God, more of His power. And number five, my dear friends, by is being accountable to others by following God's standard. Friends, we need to be accountable. First, we need to be accountable to God. We also need to be accountable to 
the men and women that God has given us. Bible saying we are supposed to obey the people who are of us in the Lord. We need to be accountable. We also need to be accountable to our bosses. We need to be accountable to somebody. That's why if we are going to live those standards of God, then we must know that we are account accountable to others for following God's standard. Are you accountable to somebody, my dear friend? Are you sure that you are accountable to somebody? Are you accountable to a boss? Are you accountable to your pastor? Are you accountable to a bishop? If you are going to live God's standard, then we must be ready to be accountable. And when we are accountable, it's when we are living in those, those God standard, and there's a great desire. There's going to be a great desire for us to know the Lord more and of his power and of his suffering and of his fellowship. We need more of the fellowship of God. Let us desire more of fellowship of God. In Jesus' name. And number six, the last one for today is pray for God strength to boldly withstand the pressure, not to compromise God's standard. You know, this time of coronavirus is very easy for people to compromise. That's why we need that we don't compromise God's standard. We need God's strength. We need God's power. That's why Paul say that I may know him and know and know of his power and of his resurrection and also fellowship that I can be able to stand with the pressure that there is that I don't compromise God's standard. Since we started suffering when the coronavirus came, people have been suffering a lot. And when we suffer, it's easier to compromise. So I beg you, in Jesus' name, don't compromise God's standard. We stand. God is going to strengthen you. God is going to strengthen me. That even in this time of pressure, we are not going to compromise God's standard. With those few points, may the Lord help you. May the Lord help me. May the Lord help us. That like now, in the particular time of coronavirus, we can be able to pray that God will strengthen us, that we can be able to stand with God's standard without any compromise in our life. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Let's continue to believe God to help you to live with the standard. May the power of God strengthen you. May the ability of God strengthen you. May you know you are not alone. May you know that God is with you. May we know that God is starting with you, even in this time of coronavirus, that we can be able to withstand the pressure that there is with God's standard. I bless you. Have a good day. May you bless somebody somewhere for, God, for, God, for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, enjoy the day.